What's going on, happy campers? So today we've got a little special install for you. We've got our 2022 Model 3 Performance behind me. Today, we're gonna to be installing a master cylinder brace from Mountain Pass Performance. We actually received a brace from another company, found out that it's a knockoff of the original product. It actually doesn't fit very well, but what the brace does is it gives your brake pedal a much firmer, more linear feel, helping aid in confidence when you're braking. So it is a very, very much needed accessory. One of the only shortcomings with cars. So we look forward to getting the right one installed and taking it for a test drive. So let's show you how it's done. And then you're gonna need a few tools. You'll want some kind of a hex driver, unless you have a set of hex keys. You'll need a two and a half millimeter and an eight millimeter. You'll also need a 10 millimeter wrench, a ratchet, a 10 millimeter long socket, a 13 millimeter wrench, and if you're installing from stock, you're gonna need a 15 millimeter socket to remove the stock bracket. First, you're gonna to wanna to grab your 10 millimeter socket and your ratchet and go to work getting this frunk out. You have just a handful of bolts that hold everything in. One here, 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 here. You got a couple hidden underneath that you'll have to get to, as well as one that holds your windshield washer fluid on. So we're gonna loosen a couple of bolts. Just pop this off. You can see down here where the other brace is installed. We'll get some close-ups of that in a minute. This panel right here just pops up. You're not gonna hurt anything. You do have a wiring harness here for the release button. Make sure you grab the plastic and out the wires and pull that loose. You got one right over here. Let me come up. You see that you have two other bolts here. These are our last two to remove. And then we can remove the whole front. Once that's all removed, just start up in your corners and this will just pop out. As you get it loose, you're gonna notice that this air intake starts to come loose. You'll be able to pull that off here in just a second. Just kind of work your way around. And then you can pop this straight off of these tabs. Trunk removed, you have access to everything you need. If you see, it's actually a very awkward fit and pushed on the side of that master cylinder. It's actually in a bind here and here as well. So we don't like that. So you're gonna grab that eight millimeter hex if you already have a brace installed. If you don't, this will be a 15 millimeter bolt. Okay, now that we've got these two bolts removed right here, which are 15 millimeter in the stock, we're gonna install this new brace. There are gonna be some spacers that need to go here. Okay, now that you have these two 15 millimeter bolts uninstalled, the stock setup or that old brace off, you're gonna take your spacers, the big spacer goes here underneath your shorter eight millimeter hex bolt. We're gonna start that one first. 
be sure that we have everything lined up. Your longer eight millimeter. Then your smaller spacer is gonna go underneath your two and a half millimeter hex bolt. That bolt's gonna drop right through that hole where your wiring is mounted. Now, because that is just a hole, you do have a washer and a nut to go on the bottom. I'm gonna pull this harness out of the way. This is always fun. Once it's started, it should go in pretty easy. Then just snug that one up and then go back to our eight millimeter hex. Now, if you can see this reservoir moving, this is actually what happens with the master cylinder back there when you hit the brake. That extra pressure in the brake lines actually makes it flex. That's what gives you that spongy brake feel. And so, Mountain Pass Performance has solved for that with this brake. And it does make a world of difference. Now that our eight millimeter is tightened up, we're gonna go back and tighten this two and a half millimeter hex. Nice and tight. We're gonna reinstall this harness right here in this hole that's pre-existing. Now the next thing will be to take a look at where the brace mounts against that master cylinder. Obviously this is a much better placement than we were dealing with before. Now you have a nut here that's attached to this foot and a lock nut. And so we're gonna grab our 13 millimeter wrench and we are gonna tighten that up so it's snug against that master cylinder. Once you have that snug, you're going to take this lock nut, back it back down against the brace, and just give it a couple little turns. And there you have it. Now it's installed. You see it actually pushes squarely in the center of that master cylinder, like it should. Now that we have everything installed, tightened up, and locked down, we are ready to reinstall the frunk. So you can see this brace actually sits where it should in the center of that master cylinder, holding it nice and tight. And don't forget, if you removed and repositioned this harness, you do have some feet on your frunk that could crush it. Be careful when you reinstall.
Well, guys, that's all I have for you today. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch the video. Definitely check out Mountain Pass Performance. There's a link to the master cylinder brace down in the description. I can't say that there is any other cheap part that will inspire confidence like a master cylinder brace will. There's nothing else I've added to my car that has cost so little and made such a big difference. When you have to stomp on the brake pedal, whether you're going into a corner or just stopping at a stop sign, it makes the pedal feel more linear, more firm. It's definitely confidence inspiring and I can't recommend it more. By far the most fun car that I've ever owned. And you know, as always, uh, drive safe, drive fast, be careful. We love you and make sure you like and subscribe. Drop us a comment. Tell us what you think about our videos or what you think we should cover in future videos.